Yo, 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 what up? Welcome everyone to the stream. That's going to be pretty important. Revenge of the Sith, Episode 3, my favorite Star Wars movie. Uh, depends on my mood usually, but pretty much Revenge of the Sith is always numero uno. So how we're going to do it, of course, as usual, welcome everyone. We've got over 1,100 here waiting already. So thank you guys so much. Uh, we've got a couple super chats. What the hell? Why do we have super chats before we even start it? Oh, that's, that's cool of you. Um, I just updated some emojis for join members, so go check that out. How we're going to do this, as usual, if you're new here, welcome. And uh, we're going to basically, I'm going to do like start, and then you guys will start it with me. And I'm going to watch it on, for me, it's Disney Plus, but I mean, I got all the discs, all the original ones anyways, but this is the easiest for me. So when I click play, I want you guys to watch it with me. I can't show the footage. I can't show the sound, of course. Um, but I will try to, you know, like react to some parts of it, which is totally fine. You can do that. Before I do begin, I do want to say all join members will be getting the access to uh, the final Once Upon a Theory animation. Um, we're not done, but this is it's the biggest one, it's the highest budget one, and uh, this is only like a few seconds of what we have so far. So I just want to show you, um, and then I'll release it to the public, like maybe months later or something like that. But for all join members, thank you for your support. You guys are the ones that are making this animation possible. So uh, enjoy this like 10 second clip. Look, help me take this mask off. But you'll die. Nothing can stop that now. Just for once, let me look on you with my own eyes. So that's all we have so far. We don't have the music and everything down pat, but it, it's it's going to be cool. It's a, it's a, the funniest one. It's the biggest twist. Uh, most of the Jedi show up and a lot of different things that you wouldn't expect, but... Uh, it's going to be the final conclusion to the animations, and then we'll start Season 2, hopefully. So, without further ado, I'm going to answer all Super Chats at the very end. I'm so happy you're all here. We've got almost 3,000 in the chat. Uh, hit that like button, and uh, enough of the, the YouTuber crap. Let's get started, dude. I can't. I just want to start this. I can't wait to start it. So, three. Should we read Super Chats before? I guess we should. Hey Theory, how's your day? Also super hyped for Revenge of the Sith, my favorite Star Wars movie and one of my top three favorite movies of all time. Thank you, Mr. Memes. Turtles, uh, our slow rabbits are faster. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank. Of what? Got my Diet Coke and Vines. Let's go. Super hyped. This is going to be an awesome stream. Star Wars Theory will say hello there when the stream starts. Did you see that Cyberpunk has been delayed? Yeah, it sucks, dude. Logan Bass is a new member. Thank you, man. I hope you enjoy that animation. Uh, you're in the right time. And you got some new stickers for join members, too. This is where the fun begins. Popcorn ready. Let's do it. With that said, let's roll, everyone. Oh, yeah. Before I start, I got some new, new colors in today. So you guys can see them up close and personal. Well, I guess you can't see this one because it's yellow, but... <laughs> F. Fail. And then we got... Uh, this is, this is my personal favorite is the, probably this one, actually. Actually, you know what? Let's switch it out. Let's switch it out. It's for Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith special. There we go. Fits nice. Okay. All right. Let's do this. <sighs> okay. Three, two, one. Hey, Lucasfilm. All right. Uh, I'm going to put it over here. That way we've got it rolling. By the way, yes, I do have my Jedi robes on. You're an idiot. You just found out what was on the hat. <laughs> and as usual, we're going to be talking through this whole thing. So uh, that's the whole fun of it, right? The time has come. Execute order 66. 3,000, 3,100 of you. 
Right on, guys. Welcome to the stream. Theory I found your Cobra Kai channel. Please reply. Oh, cool, man. It's like a year later. Would you ever do a Vader 2? Yeah, 100%. I started a new channel last night, actually, called uh, Fantasy Theory. It's going to cover Lord of the Rings. It's going to cover Matrix. It's going to cover The Hobbit, uh, The Witcher, uh, Game of Thrones, which is now over. But if there's anything I feel like covering, it's going to cover that. Stranger Things. Basically, anything fantasy. Matrix I'm really excited for, and Lord of the Rings. So um, I put it on my on my uh, homepage there, so you can check it out if you want. Chat's going crazy, dude. I'm going to reveal some cool stuff if you don't know it. Uh, some things behind the scenes and all that. So There we go. There we go. I think the single coolest opening of any film is right here. Can you believe that all the clones were CGI? Isn't that insane? Alright, list your favorite Star Wars movies in the chat. I want to see what your numbers are. Turn it up a bit. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. 100%. There's sound? Really? It must be coming through my headphones. There's no sound. Yeah, that's the point. There's no sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. All of you here, uh, we're doing Last of Us 2 live stream on the gaming channel after this, so. Did you know Leonardo DiCaprio was supposed to play as Anakin? But apparently he felt like he couldn't get another job after he played something as big as this, so... Do you like that cringy uh, thumbnail? You wanna know why Obi Wan doesn't like flying so much? It's because he got into a really bad accident when he was Qui Gon's Padawan. Ship went out of control and he was spinning and crashed. There's R4.
All right, it's getting too hot. It's getting too hot. I gotta take this off. Two and a half hours, I'm gonna melt in that thing. I think Revenge of the Sith is like one of the only Star Wars movies you can fully watch without sound and you know what's going on. Like you know all the lines, you know? I memorized this move when I was a little kid. When Anakin hops out, it's like... Zoom, 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 zoom. And then he goes in. So dope. I would like rewind it and then replay it super slow and try to mimic the movements. Such a nerd. I sense a trap. Next move. Spring the trap. <laughs> I love you guys. Who remembers seeing this in theaters? Right, a lot of you are probably too young. You probably haven't seen it in theaters. But, uh, oh, it was, dude, amazing. It was so epic. It was like during the day I saw it with my dad. I was, uh, 14, 15, 15, 15. It's not a good day to be a droid. It's in the middle of the night for you? Welcome, dude. This movie made you fall in love to be and begin your Star Wars fandom? It's good. It's a good one to start. May the force be with you too, Star Wars tributes. No sound, bro. Bro, stop trolling. You know why there's no sound. You were born in 2005? It's no excuse. You couldn't go to the theater? Bro, they should have delivered you in Revenge of the Sith. Did you guys see yesterday's video on what Ewan said about the Obi-Wan show? Like, that technology is just, like, f it's freaking insane, dude. Having lit You don't need green screens anymore, really. You just have f screens around you. You can change it in real time. Like, that's revolutionary. George is, he's literally changed the world. It, 
Obi Wan didn't feel him. If you notice how Hayden Christensen acts, um, he's actually trying to sound like James Earl Jones, or ha at least have the cadence. So, especially when he turns into Darth Vader, and even through the whole prequels, he's really trying to um, have the cadence that Darth Vader has in the suit, so that you can really tie it in together that it's, you know, the same person. If you listen to how he talks, he's like, yes, master. He just really goes into that depth. Yo, Vio, what up? I saw this in theaters back when I was six. Best movie ever. Right on, bro. It is the best movie ever. Christopher Lee. Did you know Christopher Lee was a phenomenal fencer? Speciality. So there's actually a scene that was never shown in movies or anything like that, except for the Revenge of the Sith uh, game on PS2, I believe it was. And I didn't see this until like a few weeks ago when Mark was playing it. But there's like a whole different angle that they filmed. Toys of Pride, Double the Fool. Duke of Sarmon. Sarmon is Duku. He's just got a beard. This is, okay, I always wondered, like, how is Obi-Wan's pelvis not freaking crushed? Like, he'd be completely immobilized. Do you know Dooku was supposed to be just testing Skywalker? He was supposed to purposely get arrested. And if you watched any videos from this last week, you'll know that if Dooku lost for some miraculous reason, as Palpatine said, he would have stepped in and saved him. But he, of course, didn't. Count Dooku. Yo, all the join members, use some of your new emojis. I just added them today. <laughs> I want to see those.
There's a theory that all of Star Wars is told through the eyes of R2-D2. What do you think? Dutch from Predator said it first. Do it! I'm here! Kill me now! Do it! Come on! Yo, a new member, Antonio Diaz. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna read all your super chants at the end, guys. Oh, yeah. I love those new emojis. Look at that. There's more coming, too. They're just not done yet. <laughs> the magician theory. I like that one. Oh yeah, I'm going to do a contest on my Instagram soon, so if you want in, make sure to check it out. Star Wars Theory. I want to do some PS5 giveaways once it comes out. And Xbox. Yeah, it'd be cool. <laughs> it's crazy to think during this time Ahsoka is fighting Maul second channel name again Theories Arcade Games Ooh, we're almost at 60k man it's, that's pretty good To be a little older. <laughs> Jedi scum. It's a nice robe. It's like red interior. Can you imagine how many times R2 could have done that in Star Wars to distract people? Memes, memes galore. I think Ian McDermott was the best actor in all of Star Wars. Definitely. He's the most gifted. Very talented. Time to abandon ship. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> All right, everyone in chat. 
Do you know why Grievous has trouble breathing? Only OG Clone Wars. I don't mean real, like, I don't mean, like, the legit new Clone Wars. I mean, like, the old 2003. This is your favorite Star Wars film. Yeah, it is. Sick audio. Yeah, bro, you must be new here. Some of you probably want to see chat all in one. What up, Nathan? It's my favorite Jedi, Qui-Gon Jinn. And I'm not brave enough for politics. Ninth time. That business on Kendra Namoria doesn't doesn't count. You know, no matter how many times you watch a movie, it can always be new if you look at the background characters. And just focus on it like focus on this guy. This girl, or her, or him, <laughs> or him, or Jar Jar. Like it, it makes the whole movie. You just see everything different. Like these droids here. Just look at the royal guard. There's the people in the back. It just gives you a whole perspective.
Yo, Logan. I love how Dave Filoni was so careful to make sure Anakin and Grievous didn't meet in the Clone Wars, so it was special in this movie. Yeah, I agree. But I still wanted Anakin to fight Grievous. I think it would have been cool. And for all the Super Chats I've missed so far, I'm going to answer them all at the end, guys. Love you. Thank you. You don't think the casting was good? It's treason, then. What are we going to do, Addy? It's got like the best soundtrack of, of any Star Wars movie. Name that shuttle. Anakin fighting Maul or Anakin fighting Grievous? Which one do you think would be cooler? I think Anakin fighting Maul. Did you know Mace Windu fought Grievous? Stay tuned. New book. No, uh, sorry. New video coming on Labyrinth of Evil. One bar younger and more powerful. Dude, Coruscant is like the cyberpunk of Star Wars. What are my thoughts on midi chlorians? I think they're cool. It's fine. What are my thoughts on Jar Jar? I think he's great. Here it comes. This changes everything. Do you think this was a real vision, or do you think Palpatine did this? And he looking shredded.
So this is all um, because of his mother dying and he couldn't save her. Thank you, Master Marco. I'll read it at the end, buddy. Appreciate the super chat, man. I feel like Yoda could have been more helpful, too. Premonitions. Hmm. Visions you have. They're of pain. Suffering. Death. course. So these gold statues they're from Plagueis. Four of them. <laughs> More than you know. <laughs> oh, God. See if I can sink it. It's unfair. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, well. You know, Obi Wan's just like, dude, come on.
Do you see the opposite? The mirrored image of this whole thing? Qui-Gon, who was Anakin's true father, well, father figure that would have changed everything, he was on the council, or sorry, he was a master, but he was not on the council. Anakin's on the council, but he's not a master. I don't trust him. Prophecy that Miss Red could have been. This movie moves very fast. See how he said that? Don't ask me to do that. It's trying to sound like Vader. He knows what he's doing. George Lucas is right here. Uh, right here. This is George. It's George Lucas. Seriously, they put him in makeup. <laughs> That's his little cameo in the film. You think Palp's got it on with her?
apparently this is Ian McDermott's favorite scene to film. Or it's like his most memorable. Leave us. For that matter. My trust in them has been shaken. What conversation do you think they're having? Where <laughs> little do they know. could tell it's like he's been brainwashed to say that dark place the no <laughs> where my memers at And I'm talking about team. Safe. <laughs> Game so powerful. I was right out of was. Losing his power, which eventually, of course, he did. He taught his apprentice everything he knew. His apprentice killed him in his sleep. Ironic. <laughs> Here it comes. From a Jedi. It's amazing. Gets me every time. Where are my memers at? Chat should be like going like this right now. You've failed me. Uh, did you know apparently? Han Solo was supposed to be here in the scene. Little Han Solo.
Oh, shh. Just slap in the face for Anakin. Dude. Pff, I would have turned to the dark side, too. You're the chosen one. You're the chosen one. You're the most powerful. You're the poster boy. Oh, you know what? Yeah, someone better needs to go on this mission. Someone with more experience. Freaking ILM, man. They're so amazing. Like, look at this scene. Sad. It's the last time they see each other. As friends. It's the way he says goodbye. Such a good scene. <coughs> I'm 
ever wondered why sneezes smell like honey? I gotta make a video on that, on Fast Facts. So their look was inspired by the look of what Mustafarians were supposed to look like. At least that's what it said in the Making of Revenge of the Sith book. He is here. Thank you, Mason. Appreciate that, man. Anyone know the name of this creature? It's a Varactyl. They're really cool. Sand Hill. New Gunray. Here it comes. Here it comes. Chat, you know what to do. What if Kenobi just killed him right there? I guess he'd get shot then. I thought this was so cool in theaters. I still remember it, man. It's like... I'm glad I didn't have epilepsy or something, because... The whole theater was like...
to 12th in the house. You are doomed. No, oh, no. It's cool. We all know what happened at this time. If only Ahsoka got to talk to him, man. I, f I think that could have even shaken some things up, you know. Yo, Padme, it's nice to see you again. That's really nice to hear. I'm glad your baby likes to listen to them at least. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Padme. Can someone name all the statues in Palpatine's office? There's four of them. Give you the first hint. Sistros. of the dark side.
So I also did a video on that art behind him, the mural. Makes you stronger. I'm going to turn you over to the Jedi Council. Jesus, man, getting hit by Grievous would just, like, break your bones. I don't know why he didn't just use the Force right there, you know? Just, like, blow his organs out. that barbecue a la grievous rest in peace leg A Sith Lord? Why didn't Master Windu trust him? I feel like so much of the war falls upon Windu's inability to just handle situations with a bit of uh, emotion. But then again, he's a Jedi. I think this is probably the most, one of the most powerful scenes in all of Star Wars. With the music and everything and their connection. This is the pivotal moment, I think. This part always confused me. Because Palpatine never ever said that on screen that we know of. If you do know if the Jedi destroy me, 
then any hope of saving her is lost. Like, when did he say that? Do you think he was speaking to Anakin through the Force? Or is just Anakin thinking, you know, what, what would happen if he actually gets destroyed? This is where everything just turns completely. Dude, that theme, it's just the music. Jeez. 2,166 people. 66? Oh, it's 69 now. Damn it. Here we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Chat, you know what to do. Treason, then. <laughs> okay. So, A lot of people are so confused as to like how he just takes them out so easily. So in the book, Palpatine was moving like a red blur. Like you could you couldn't even see him moving. It was just his lightsaber. You just see a red blur, just like super fast, the speed of light, ridiculously quick. There's also a a bit of a a blooper. So. You'll see, pay attention to the lightsaber in Palpatine's hand. It's actually Anakin's. And the reason this is happening is because Anakin was supposed to be there in an original draft that they shot. And uh, he was supposed to throw his lightsaber to Palpatine because Palpatine didn't have one. So check it out. Um, you'll see it. Pay attention. It's there, right there, Anakin. That's Anakin's lightsaber. He's holding Anakin's lightsaber. See that? Crazy, huh? So when I met Ian McDermott, I asked him, like, did Palpatine throw the fight on purpose? Did he fake his loss? And he's like, yes. Even I know George Lucas says that he didn't, but... Who do we believe? It's all downhill from here. Yeah, Jackson.
one has achieved, but if we work together, <laughs> discover the secret. So you can see the pain in Anakin. He doesn't want to do this, dude. Look at him. Like, you think this is that a face that makes it look like he really is happy about what he's doing? He's ashamed, man. I don't know what Palpatine's doing with the noises, though. He's like. It's like 15 years of build up for him. <laughs> it's all happening. Doesn't know how to handle it. Vader. <laughs> the freak the noises, dude. Blech. Blech. He's like a Samoan. He's doing the dance. Puta. By the way, mad respect to Samoans. I want to move to Hawaii one day and ling live among the natives. That is my goal. Off grid. Civil War at end. Is the beginning beginning of the end, Ninja? They didn't put much image for the Jedi Temple attack. Yeah, I don't know why not. They did. They actually filmed a lot, but they didn't didn't complete it. I guess. I'm gonna get some popcorn. I want some popcorn.
So a lot of people say why why did Kiari Mundi die and Ahsoka didn't? Because they had pretty much the same thing. Rex saved Ahsoka by stalling for like 10 seconds. Kiari Mundi didn't get that. Yo, all you join members right now, use the sad emoji. That's what this is for. Spam that sad emoji right now. Oh, George Lucas's son is coming up. Check this out. Okay, so there's a concept art where Obi-Wan goes into a, from the water, he goes into like some canal cave thing, and he talks to the ghost of Qui-Gon Jinn. Would have been so cool. So cool. Did George just kill his own son? Yeah. <laughs>
by doing a new home watch party? Yeah, man. What did you guys expect when to eat popcorn like uh, like a human being? I'm at home. I'm with my homies. I'm not going to be like... Hell no. A simp lord. Why was Chewbacca the only Wookiee on the original and sequel trilogy? I don't know. Mustafa. I love how he's like, Lord Vader will take care of you. Thanks, Gary. What a parth. I'll read it when the uh, movie's done. Thank you, man. I think it would have been cool if we saw... Kylo Ren fly to Mustafar. That would have been neat.
50 bucks from Matt Santos. Dude, thank you so much. Uh, I'll read it at the end of the video. So apparently George didn't want that scene in there, and I think it was Rick McCollum or something that, and some of the other guys, where they were like, dude, that would be a sick scene, we need to throw that in there. Of Yoda throwing the saber. Sorry. Please. And there it is. Galactic Empire. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you, Gaming Random. He got capped, finally. That bastard. from the chat for Gunray? No way. Gunray was a bastard. I think this is the coolest. This is like we see Anakin just like, just like choking one Jedi out and killing the rest. I find it so cool that Palpatine actually went in the Jedi Temple in Revenge of the Sith. Like, that's... I wish we saw more of it.
Thank you, Frostbites, for becoming a new, a new member, dude. Use those new emojis, bro. I wish there was sound too, Tiberius. Be much more fun. Yo, Legendary Slayer Jackson. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'll read them at the end of the movie. I want to respond properly to them and not just quickly, you know what I mean? Put some respect on your super chat. There are actually a lot of deleted scenes as well with Anakin killing everyone on Mustafar. Which I wish we got, but... I don't know. Cut them out. It's probably in the long extended edition. Now, once again, why Anakin is crying here isn't because of what he's done. It's because he's imagining himself as a boy and his dream of becoming a Jedi. And how it's so convoluted now. It's just so different from what he wanted. That's what it says in Revenge of the Sith novel. Obi Wan.
protect you. What do you think would have happened if Anakin listened? And went away to Naboo? Went a little insane. Let me hear any more about Obi Wan. Don't you turn against me. You turned her against me! You've done that yourself. This is the coolest part. You want to take her from me? How could anyone hate on Hayden Christensen, man? He did such a beautiful performance, dude. Justice and security to my new empire. Your new empire? <laughs> to democracy! And you're my enemy. The Sith deals in absolutes. Shut up. So why did he control Dooku's, but not Palpatine's? Was it so much faster? More powerful? Unexpected it was, hmm?
Check out Obi-Wan's hand. He's got Anakin's lightsaber. See? It's a little... little blooper right there. I just want to show all of it, dude. I, I don't know how much I can... I don't know what the hell the rules are. Typically, all reactions should be legal, but... I will make it legal. What if Anakin didn't hit the, the the screen that controls all the lava? What would happen then? Sidious was so strong in the Force. Just imagine what he could have achieved if he lived to be as old as Yoda. It's so cool they use Duel of the Fates. Because once again, it's Duel of the Fates over the galaxy now.
Yo, Joey, thank you for the super chat, bro. I'll answer in like 20 minutes. Cool fight scene, dude. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. <sighs> See right here he was about to say help me. But they cut it out. He said it there again. Alright chat, let's do it. Balance to the force! 
We're living in darkness. You ready? I hate you! You're my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Oof. Look away. I can't. Anyone got a marshmallow? Jesus, how stressful. I thought it was cool how uh, soft that soil was, you know, cause it's just pretty much freshly made volcanic ash and dust. Everything is just so detailed in this film. You know, even the the shields under the droids with their their on over the lava, like they have little bits of like if they were they thought like, Oh, how are they not burning up? Well, they have little shields. Force fields. Immediately. You think Palpatine does some sort of uh force heal? Even though that's a light side maneuver, but it's light side power, but do you think he does anything? He just checks his vitals. He's like 15 years of waiting for this. So in a deleted scene, this is actually where Qui-Gon is talking to Yoda. And Yoda says that, okay, uh, you will become my master now. Third man, thank you, bro. I'm going to read that in about 10 minutes once the movie's done. So this planet they're on is called Polis Massa. One dies and one is born. It's cool. God, 
Star Wars is so such a cool story, dude. That so this is the Empire symbol right here. It's cool, huh? Do you guys didn't know that was the Empire logo? Yeah, man. Subtle little details everywhere. See? Empire logo right there. You know, it's gone now, I guess, but... Here we go. See? Vader still got eyelashes, man. Everyone's saying that I had eyelashes when I was burnt as Vader. Vader's got eyelashes. He's got long eyelashes. This was probably the coolest moment in the theater. You can see the smoke move. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. The detail, man. It's Star Wars. It's George Lucas Star Wars. No. to weed.
We have to hear Qui Gon in the Obi Wan show. Just have to. So they had to put something uh, under Padme's dress to make it look like she was still pregnant. So like the kids died with her because they knew the Empire would be watching the funeral. And they wanted to hide the fact that the children are alive. Yo, I love you too, Tea Time. That Japur snippet is very important. Look at that shiny cape. Tarkin. Yeah, that shot was so cool, man. Thank you, Jack. I'll read that in five minutes. Thank you, Jericho. It's very kind of you. shot dude the best the best the best amazing Amazing. George Lucas. Everyone else involved. Made magic, baby. They made magic. So. <sighs> it is now at the end. That's my favorite Star Wars movie. It's just too cool, man. It's just too raw. Raw, untamed. <laughs> uh, let's start at the super chats. Let's start at the top, uh, and then we'll just shoot the crap and talk. You know, as we go. Um, first of all, what do you guys think? What's your favorite Star Wars movie? We you know, what what I really like about this one is that it's so. It doesn't end happy, you know. It's like Empire, and it's. I feel like all movies nowadays always just end happy, and it's it's, it's re unrealistic. You know, life isn't always ending with a happy ending. So, I like that, and I like that it shows so much of like a just a huge character arc of everybody and where the empire, even the empire has a character arc, and the galaxy has a character arc. It's it's character arcs for everyone. It's great. Lycan says, Prime Malgus versus Prime Revan. Who you taking? Uh, probably Prime Revan. 
The king of the fat. Despite her being overpowered, do you still like Ray? No. Over being overpowered was never the problem. It was just the, the, the problem with the character. It's just like a really overly perfected character. Wolfpack, move out. Logan, thank you. Star Wars Tributes. Hey, Star Wars Theory. Love you, bro. And may the Force be with you. Love, love you too, buddy. Lord Mongoth, Morgoth Gaming. What do you think... Who do you think would win in a fight between Darth Maul, Robot Legs, or General Grievous? Darth Maul. Obviously, for sure. Also, we're going to watch the sequel trilogy once you reach them. I haven't decided yet. Hey, Theory, I've been a subscriber since early 2017, and I love your channel. I'd love for you to see my Stormtrooper tattoo on Instagram, Cold Cooper. Cool, man. Amir says, hey, Theory, love your stuff. Here's a joke for you. Who were Yoda's parents, Yo Mama and Yo Daddy? Who were Yoda's parents? Yo Mama and oh, Yo Da. Oh, um, <laughs> Captain Mark 13. Uh, Revenge of the Sith is far more emotionally impactful and tragic after watching the Siege of Mandalore. It is, yeah. Do you think we'll get a live action of the Siege of Mandalore one day? Maybe even a flashback? Hey Theory, do a Bond game on your game channel. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty sweet up the great content thank you instincts may the force be with you always you too starburst tributes may the force be with you i went to some friends i went with some friends for the first noonday showing skipped work for it was it worth it landon goonie gaming is a new member thank you bro hey star wars theory thank you for all you do oh and what is your favorite line from star wars and can you say i love unicorns in a palpatine voice <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, my favorite line from Star Wars. The ability to speak does not make you... In what was it? The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't right. I think that's right. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. <laughs> from Qui-Gon. I saw this in theaters back when I was six. Best movie ever. I hope they show Qui-Gon in the Obi-Wan show. Yeah, me too, dude. In Star Wars, you know it's about to go down when they drop their robes. Seriously, every time they drop their robes, just things get serious. Would Palpatine still try to convince Anakin to kill Dooku if Obi-Wan was still conscious? No. No. I don't think so. Quick, do you still play Star Wars The Old Republic? Where? I do, from time to time, rarely, on the gaming channel. Star Wars Theory, uh, sorry, Theories Arcade Games. What does Tyrannus mean? Not like a tyr tyrannical lord. It's just tyranny. Like a tyrant, you know? Someone who controls, like a total totalitarian. Anakin needs to control his thoughts. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, he does. Antonio Diaz upgraded tonight. Thank you, dude. Clanker, as a droid in the Clanker army, I'm appalled to see this disgraceful, disgraceful amount of disrespect towards the Clanker species. Bro, you guys aren't a species. Just a bunch of wires. A hey, Milo. Hey, what up, Milo? What's going on, dude? There's a new member. Thank you. Splash Daddy 420. <laughs> do, do you think Anakin would never have gotten to the Darth Vader suit if he would have left Obi-Wan on the ship? Do you think Anakin would have never gotten the Darth Vader suit? If he would have left Obi Wan on the ship, what do you mean left him where? Oh, on the invisible hand ship? Oh no, of course not. No, so Palpatine's idea was to have then Dooku and Anakin would have been ruling. Obviously, he wanted Dooku out of the picture, but if that were to go that way, then Dooku and Anakin would have both been. Sith, pretty much. That's from the Labyrinth of Evil. Thanks for bringing us together as a community. Love your work. Much love from New York. New York! That's cool, man. Thank you, Face All. Anakin needs to be careful with his thoughts. So many people need to stop telling him that this man needs to keep his priorities straight. Mr. Memes, yeah, he does. Windu crushed him. Mackenzie, yes, you were right. That's how Grievous can't breathe, is that Windu crushed his, his lungs, pretty much. <sighs> Well, he crushed his shell, um, which is protecting his lungs. The whole battle of the soup of the hero sequence is my favorite part in all of Star Wars. Just the meaning behind the fight and what's on the line makes it more impactful. I agree. 
Thank you, Fate Malone. Mike Hill says, how could Padme be showing during the second episode of Clone Wars if she just told Anakin that she's pregnant at the beginning of Revenge of the Sith? The second episode of... You mean second episode season seven? Yeah. Yeah, well... I guess it's to show that, you know, she's a little bit... She's a little bit pregnant there. I love how Dave Filoni was careful to make sure Anakin and Grievous didn't meet in the Clone Wars, so it was special in this movie. I agree. Hey, Theory, much love... But I really would have liked to see Anakin fight Grievous. Oh, cool. Hey, Theory, much love, brother. I really enjoy your content and appreciate that your humility and passion. You're a fine human being, man, and better than most. Oh, thank you, Facing the Sun. That's very kind of you to say. Captain Mark 13 says, Do you think Jar Jar was secretly a Sith Lord or at least an Inquisitor? <laughs> no, but he was. There was an idea for him to be um, dark. Did you collect any Episode 3 Lego sets back in 2005? In my opinion, these were the very iconic ones. The minifigs with battery charged lightsabers, the colored ones, red, green, yellow, and Grievous's wheel. If I did, they're in storage somewhere. Which I know I did, but I just don't remember which ones I had. I know I had, if I remember correctly, it was a, uh, it was a pod racer. It was a Lego pod racer. Despite her being overpowered, right? We read that one. Uh, what would happen if Obi Wan didn't kill Grievous? Uh, well, the war would still be on. PSA to prequel haters: If you treat the love scenes as comedy, you enjoy it more. Your channel helped me through some dark times, man. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. Glad you can get some escape and be entertained. I mean, who would have n who would have not gone to the dark side for Natalie Portman? Yeah, but what about Black Cat? Eh? All of you on my gaming channel know what I'm talking about. My favorite of the saga, I remember skipping school with my friends to see this opening day. The final duel blew my 10-year-old mind. You skipped school when you were 10? That's cool, dude. How different do you think it would have been if Anakin wasn't given a seat on the council at all? As May said in the OG Clone Wars, politicians have no voice in Jedi matters. Um, I don't really think it would have changed much, dude. Anakin was still... He probably would have been pissed off at that, you know? How are you not laughing at all the classic meme lines? Is it possible to learn this power? Sometimes it just get transfixed into the story, you know? What if Anakin was granted the rank of Master but not on the Council? Oh, wow, two questions that are the same. Um, I think he would have been more chill. Theories Yoda sounds like an orc peon. Zug zug. Have you seen Star Wars Squadrons and good stream? Keep up the good work and I have the high ground. I did see the trailer. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Do you think Anakin would have defeated General Grievous if he was sent? I think so. Did you know that Michael Jackson wanted to play Jar Jar? And what do you think of him? By the way, this watch party is... Worth not sleeping, 100%. Yo, Christian, yeah, I did. Uh, I explained that in my 10 facts about Jar Jar, which is pretty cool. But uh, George Lucas turned it down because he felt like Michael Jackson would was like just too big of a star for the movie. What else Anakin had to do to become a Jedi Master? Um, just wait in the chambers, and he would have earned Mace Windu's trust. This is where the fun begins. Love your videos. Thank you, Mason. I binged the Clone Wars to prep myself for this movie. I get all the feels from Revenge of the Sith. For Revenge of the Sith, tears. Yeah, me too, dude. Star Wars Theory, you're a bald one. Yeah, I do. I do like to shave my head. Looks, looks better than uh, Padme and the Force be with you. Right, we, we read that one. It's good to see you, Padme. Hope you're doing well. Favorite Jedi? Qui-Gon. Obi-Wan was better than Anakin. 212th better than 501st. It's treason, then. Ahsoka is better love interest than Padme? Ahsoka and Anakin? That'd be weird, dude. It's treason then, the Cosmic Chief says. In honor of watching Revenge of the Sith tonight, could you check out my buddy's recreation of Anakin's saber sounds? His name is K-Sith Saber Fonts here on YouTube. Cool, man. Uh, Jackson Deason, uh, and it's all downhill from it. Yeah, it is. Was Sidious really afraid that Mace was going to kill him, or was it an act to make Mace think he won? I think it was all an act to make Mace think he won so that Anakin would show up. Because realistically, I don't think Palpatine would have lost. Always the servant, always the slave, young Skywalker. Shards of the past. Francis says, so did Windu survive? 
Well, in my head, and Samuel Jackson actually asked George Lucas if um, he survived. And George is like, yeah, I have no problem with you being alive. <laughs> George doesn't really give a damn. He's just like, yeah, sure. It's the beginning of the end. It is Ninja Nightwing. Gabriel Firewolf is a new member. Thank you, dude. Hope you enjoy the final season of Once Upon a Theory. Final episode for season one. Order 66 equals 11-year-old me crying and 26-year-old me still choking up. Hey, dude, what do you think of Squadron and its inclusion of Hera? Hera, I personally think that they're starting to hint at what might be coming for the upcoming Rebel sequel, but that's just me. Yeah, man, it looks like a cool... You know, I used to play the, the pilot in games a lot back in the early 2000s uh, with the X-Wings, you know, versing the, the, the TIE Fighters and all that. So it, it's cool. Why was Chewbacca the only Wookiee on the original? Se yeah, I, I, I don't know, dude. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Thank you, Michaela. Sorry I couldn't make it to my favorite movie. Enjoy. All right, Darth Gary. Thank you, man. Parth, just swinging by to say hi. Got to go sleep. Wish everyone all the happiness and health in the world. Cheers. Much love. Hope all's well with you, Rain, and your fam and friends, Theory. Thank you, Parth. You're always so kind and so generous with your super chats, and you're just always sending such loving, nice messages. Matt Santos, thoughts on Squadron and Hera being a key role in it? I think this could be, I guess, a content bridge between the end of Rebels and the new Rebels sequel. Yeah, we answered the, the, the Squadron one. We should have seen Coruscant in the sequel trilogy. Yeah, 100%. Duel of the Fate script had that in there. Can we watch episode 4 after, th after this? I don't want to wait. Yeah, we'll watch it next week, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Revenge of the Sith is my fave and will always be a great stream, man. Thank you, Iceberger. Let this be a lesson, kids. Make sure you control your thoughts and don't be Anakin. Mr. Memes. Gaming random. Star Wars theories with non-Star Wars characters. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing that once, like... <sighs> Thor versus Palpatine or something like that. I think it would be kind of fun. If you could make one cosmetic change to the saga, what would it be? Mine would be to keep Episode 3 Anakin lightsaber design in all nine movies. What do you think? No, I, I like that it changed because it shows that it's, you know, it's more Luke's and uh, which in actuality is kind of more Obi-Wan's because Obi-Wan tinkered with it a lot, which I don't know why he did, but maybe we'll find out one day. Hi, I love your videos. Thank you, Mateo. Appreciate that. The inside of Mustafar control room is supposed to resemble the inside of Vader's mask with the two screens emulating Vader's digital lenses. I didn't know this. Is that fact? The third man? That's cool, dude. Frost bites. Welcome, you are a new member, my friend. Legendary Slayer says, hello, I like your videos, and also, hello there. Anakin's Dark Deeds, my favorite music piece in all of Star Wars. What's yours? It would have to be the same. Or Duel of the Fates. How much would I need to pay you to play Star Wars The Old Republic with me? I can't get anyone in order to play with me, and it's and it sucks. Um, you don't really have to get me to... You don't have to pay me anything. Um, I usually play with uh, viewers and fans and stuff on the gaming channel. So whenever I play it, just hop on there. How much did you cry first time you watched Revenge of the Sith? I don't remember crying as much as I remember just being hyped when I was watching it. Like the dagger mistake in The Last Jedi, there is a saber error in Battle of Heroes fight. When Annie is choking Obi-Wan, the sabers get swapped multiple times. Well, okay... I think the dagger mistake is, like, a huge plot hole, like, huge twist to the plot. Like, it could actually affect the plot, you know, versus, like, just switching lightsaber hilts. I mean, it's not really going to change anything. It's just a bit of a blooper. But a, com a dagger missing, like, completely vanishing when it could have just, you know, killed the person. I think that's, that's a big uh, plot armor mistake. Colin's a new member. Thank you, dude. Lando, thank you for the two bucks, buddy. Do you think Padme is force sensitive at all? No, Alan, I don't. I think, but it would be kind of cool if she was. I think Palpatine would have hunted them down, forced Anakin to submit to him if they left to Naboo. Your thoughts? Yeah, hundred percent. That would be cool. Maybe a fan fiction I should make sometime. Maybe I'll do it next week. Was there more of a boss move? Was there more? Was there a more boss move than Obi's robe removal? No, man. Obi is the biggest boss when he removes his robe. Nicholas Sims. Okay, dude. 
Hayden was the perfect Anakin. Also, I swear this movie becomes more emotional for me the older I get. George did a wonderful job. I love Star Wars. I love it too, man. Mateo Prindle. Hello there, General Kenobi. Hello there. Hey, man, from Orlando, uh, Florida. I love your videos and these watch parties. I show up right before Order 66. Glad I made it. Did Obi-Wan force heal Padme when he touched her head? I love the Empire Strikes Back and watch party, by the way. Um, I think Obi-Wan maybe, like, calmed her down. I don't know if he necessarily healed her. But that's definitely an Obi-Wan move. Revenge of the Sith ages like a fine wine. It sure does. It gets more desirable every time. I wonder what it'll be like another 20 years, you know? When we're all old, we should watch it. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Is it different for you now after Clone Wars Season 7? A little bit. I just kind of know what else is going on in the galaxy. So, it definitely does change things a bit. But whenever I watch Revenge of the Sith, I just feel like I'm like so in it. You know what I mean? Nothing can really take me out. Yoda and Sidious fight. B. Had to be hours, days before Obi-Wan's. A. Since the hyperspace trip from inner to outer rim let out at the end of the fight. A. Yeah, they probably were at different times, possibly, but... Yeah, that's true, right? It would have taken Palpatine a while to get there. But hyperspace is pretty instant. Do you think if Obi-Wan talked to Anakin more during Duel of the Fates, during the duel he could have brought him back? It's possible. They didn't really talk much. Obi-Wan was just like, well, then you are lost. And that was it. What do you think happened to Hu Yang after all this? Who? Who? The irony is if Dooku didn't cut Anakin's arm off, then he wouldn't have had that metal arm to claw his way from the edge of the lava pit. That's true, dude. I never thought of that. It would have been burnt off. Didn't even think of that. If you had the option to change any major plot points of Revenge of the Sith, what would you change, if any? <laughs> Nothing. I just would want to see more of the Jedi Temple fight massacre. Tea Time, Star Wars Theory. I love you. Thank you, Tea Time. Appreciate you, man. Do you believe in the theory that Palps killed Padme and used her life force to keep Anakin alive and also to push Anakin further into the dark side? On the contrary, keep up the good work, dude. Thank you, man. Um, it's an interesting theory, and I think it might be true, possibly. But uh, at the end of the day, she did lose the will to live. Jericho Mo. Thank you. Thank you, dude. The Jedi could have easily stopped Revenge of the Sith by checking Palpy's closet and finding the Sith robes. Shake my head. It's true. Be like, <laughs> What is this? Maybe that could be a Once Upon a Theory episode. They shot the final sunset shot during episode two. I didn't know that. Surprised they never visited Alderaan in Clone Wars. Revenge of the Sith, sadly, but with hope. I'm not the biggest fan of the sequels, but you should do it because I look forward to this every week. This is the way. We could always watch other things. Padme dies because 3PO dropped her on Mustafar. <laughs> what? Star Wars Nerd 22? I'm not even going to try to make sense of your super chats because they're always so funny and just convoluted. Uh, hi, I'm new here and I'm glad to be here. Hey, Sergeant Moist. Glad you're here. What will Star Wars be in 30 years? I hope it'll be great. Old Man Olive. What's your opinion on the rise of Skywalker, dude? I just don't, I don't consider the sequels as uh, part of the storyline. So... But I actually enjoyed Rise of Skywalker, given what I just said, and given the fact that it was right after The Last Jedi. So, yeah. Howdy from Texas. Hope to see Rogue One. Glad but oh, you want to see Rogue? We should do a Rogue One watch party? Yeah, we could do that, maybe. Yeah, that'd be fun. I love Star Wars. Can we do a Clone Wars watch party? We could do that, too. What if Padme became a Sith? That'd be weird. Did you th ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No. I didn't you should explain it, Lindsay. Don't you get demonetized doing this? Demonized? <laughs> you said demonized? Demonetized? No, uh, if I don't put any music and if I don't put the full movie, then uh, it's just a reaction kind of thing. 
Uh, I was 14 when this came out. Me too. Was the best movie I've ever seen in theaters. Never change theory. You're the best channel on YouTube. May the force be with you. Thank you, Dark KSO. Darth, Darth Kaso. Thank you, man. That's very nice of you to say. George Lucas is the GOAT. His story of Star Wars is genius. He is such an inspiration to many upcoming filmmakers. He is. He literally changed everything. Mohammed, thank you. Nick Schroeder says, if only Qui-Gon were alive, everything would have been different. Michaela, do you think when Mandalorian Season 2 comes out, we can stream it live? And curious, how is your Vader 2 coming along? Good night. May the Force be with you. Thank you, Michaela. Um... Yeah, we would do a watch party the same as this. But I don't think I'd be able to show, like, any of it. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are around that. Um, how's Vader Episode 2 coming along? Everything is delayed because of Corona. Heavily delayed. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to make a video about it and talk about it. I've been saying that for months. But maybe the robes are weighted like in DBZ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like the Saiyan armor. <laughs> Love your videos so much. Thank you, the internet de degenerate. Uh, and to commemorate my favorite Star Wars movie, I released a video discussing the artistic brilliance of the Clone Wars, and I think you would appreciate it a lot if you check it out. Cool. What are you talking about in there? How hard was it for a master to leave the Order? And did the High Council have a way of tracking the members? May the Force be with you, dude. I don't think it was hard for a master to leave the Order, right? Like, Dooku just hung up his stuff, and that was it. He's like, I'm out of here, guys. It's over. And, um, yeah, that was that, man. They let him keep his savior and everything. The Jedi Trials. Obi-Wan says, I'm ready for the trials. Do you think this is a special rite of passage that they haven't explored yet? What is it? Um, Obi-Wan may say that he's ready for the trials, but the council keeps their own uh, discernment over who's ready and who isn't. You're an awesome person, kind and down to earth. Thanks for all you do. Out of all Star Wars, who's your favorite droid? I love WAC-47. He's so funny. Um, I'd say HK-47. He thinks everyone are, are, are meat bags. I just think he's the funniest. Thank you, Darth Raylo. 66. Love your vids, man. Been watching since 2016. Thank you, Freddie Mercury. Solo watch party as well, please. Yeah, we could do that. I'd be down. I'd be down. And that marks the end of the Super Chats. Let's uh, now answer some, some regular questions here in the chat. I guess we can stop this. Oh, well, whatever. I'll just keep it rolling. What happened to the Bad Batch? It was sad when they left. Yeah, I don't know if they became... Uh, what happened with them, you know? The hello there comment was because General Grievous said it to Obi-Wan in the Clone Wars comic and the Sire is the more you know. Yeah, he was the one to first say it. Do you think Anakin would have come back to the light ever if Padme lived? Yeah. Maybe. I think so. I love your videos. Thank you for giving me something to look forward to during these times with COVID-19. Well, thanks for joining, man. I'm a huge fan. Though you, I, through you, I discovered my true love for Star Wars, so I made a Revenge of the Sith edit on my YouTube. It would be great if you checked it out and tell me your opinion on it. Cool, man. Do you think Anakin would have come back to the light? Yes, I do. Sub to the gaming channel. Yes, Everyone sub to the game. If you were the director, what kind of changes would you change about the prequels? Nothing. I just want to see more of the internal fight during Order 66 in the temple. Theory, can you do more Lego videos? Sure. We're going to do the, the Lego Complete Saga game. In the final season of the Clone Wars, the Jedi say that there is a shroud of darkness around Palpatine. So why didn't they execute Order 65 before Palpatine executed Order 66? It's a good question. It's something you'd have to ask Dave Filoni or George Lucas. Yo, Theory, Vader versus Revan, who wins? Uh, Vader's my boy, man. Hey, gotta ask, if what if Anakin never would have been ruined by sand? <laughs> yeah, I don't think of the sequels as part of the Skywalker saga, but I do consider canon. I see it more as not a continuation of the story of Skywalker, but more how the legacy affects the new generation. Fair enough, man. Who's my least favorite Jedi? Joe Costa knew. What kind of force user would you be? What character would you be like? I'd be like Qui Gon, hundred <clears throat> percent. Be like Qui Gon or Anakin. Do you think Darth Vader comics will reveal Padme is alive in some form in the future future issue? No. 
Darth Sidious versus the Hulk. Sidious. Who would win, Sidious or the Hulk? Yeah, Sidious. Uh, Leslie Headland. Uh, I've never seen any of her work. Bro, I love your channel. You are awesome. Thanks for your content. I just subbed. Right on, dude. Thank you for that, the Leopard. What do you think the Star Wars trilogy will be about in the next trilogy? I'm hoping Old Republic. I think that would be cool. Thoughts on George Lucas saying Luke is more powerful than Anakin? Uh, when did he say that? My understanding is Vader accidentally killed Padme by accidentally using Force Death for the first time. It being something he accidentally did. It was just... She didn't instantly die. Nah, man. He choked her out and she hit her head. She got a bad concussion probably. And Yeah. Please make The Last Jedi watch party. Nah, I don't think I will. Who's your favorite Skywalker? Do you think Dooku is stronger than Maul? Uh... Yeah. He is. I love Maul. Maul's cool, but, but Dooku's definitely stronger. If you could make one movie about one character, who would you pick? Qui-Gon. Or no, a young Palpatine. Or Plagueis. Despite you not considering the sequels as part of the Skywalker saga, do you still consider them canon? Well, yeah, I mean, they're canon, right? But, um... Nah, man, you, you want to know my real answer? I don't consider them canon. I did for a while. I did for a long time. But, um, I refuse to believe that that's how Luke Skywalker goes down. So, no. It's not, it's, it's, it's not George Lucas Star Wars. And for that, I'm out, but I can respect them and I can appreciate them as movies and watch them. But, uh, you know, when I see Luke in it, that's really my only problem uh, with it, that it's like a Jake Skywalker kind of thing. And that's, that's what I don't like about it. So, Hey, sue me. The originals brought us memories. Oh, where'd you go? The originals brought us memories. The sequels brought us me. The prequels brought us memes. The sequels brought us war. <laughs> well, a lot of people were torn with the prequels too. Don't forget. So maybe in you know ten, twenty years, people will love the the sequels. Who knows? I don't think so. But what lightsaber form would you use as a Jedi? Probably DM so. Form five. George Lucas buy Star Wars back. That'd be nice. What made you love Star Wars and become a huge fan? Because it's Star Wars. It's just such a cool and powerful story about not knowing your path and then uh, and finding it, you know, and and having morals and convictions and um, always straying on the the path of the light, even though the dark may be tempting. Would you want a mall movie? Yeah, 100%. Iconic reactions. What up, my dude? Revenge of the Sith is honestly the best movie I've seen, and as much as I wanted to see Anakin slaughter the temple, I feel like him fighting Obi-Wan was more than enough because that fight alone showed so many emotions in such a small time. I couldn't agree with you more, man. It was really, really a beautiful movie in all. Indiana Doss says, I got the same feeling theory. Right on, dude. And if you don't, that's totally cool, too. It's like, like look... Here's something I want to make clear is like <laughs> the internet's kind of made it where like if you like the sequels, like the people who don't like the sequels will hate on you or like you're a bad person. Dude, it's Star Wars to me. Like it's, I don't know, maybe this is a Canadian thing. I don't know if it's, I don't know what the deal is, but we don't look down on people who don't like something or differ in opinion. Um, towards something that we may be passionate about so to me dude i i I don't i don't think it's a canadian thing i think it's a just a people thing actually so because i know a lot of people from the states who are think like this too so it's like dude if you like the sequels it's cool man like i got no i got no problem with that i think that's dope like that's great but for me i got my own opinion on it too so um you know, just as I respect you, you should respect me. Who, would, But at the same time, that doesn't mean I'm going to be, you know, like offensive or rude about it or anything like that. It's just or, or say like, oh, you're an idiot if you like The Last Jedi. It's like, no, man, that's your opinion. Like, does that cause me not to sleep at night? Does that take away my sleep? 
No, it doesn't. Like, I'm fine. It's, it's cool. It's more power to you if you enjoyed it. I wish I, I wish I loved it. I wish I could have enjoyed it. Uh, but I didn't. So that's what that is. That's where the buck stops. Matthew Carter, thank you for the five. And uh, the King of Fat says, um, excluding The Last Jedi, do you like the sequels? I like The Force Awakens. And I feel like, uh, I've said this so many times, you know, I feel like episode nine was just um, righting the wrongs of episode eight. So it, w it couldn't really show itself as to what it would be. Because it was spending all of its time just fixing things and crossing things out from the previous one. It's like... But I really did like The Force Awakens. I thought The Force Awakens was really cool. Iconic says, I don't like The Phantom Menace, but Jar Jar was not as annoying as people were saying. I'll defend him for life. To be honest, I wish he got more of him. I wish we got more of him. Uh, even a reaction of him finding out about Anakin would be dope. Yeah, dude, I wish we got more of him too. Shamir Khan, Star Wars Theory, watch prequels in Japanese dub. The English subtitles are so much better than the original dialogue. It adds a lot more meaning to them. Yeah, someone said that last stream too. I got to check it out. There's like a Revenge of the Sith, like Chinese version or something. I got to see that. Who would win, Darth Bane or Vader? I, I, I pick Vader. I personally think Luke is more powerful than Anakin since they have the same potential, but Luke has less emotions. Um, so apparently Starkiller is supposed to be how powerful Luke would have become. He's like on the same power level kind of thing. What would my lightsaber color be? Green. Yours is purple? That's cool. What if the wills never existed? I love your video. Keep up the good work. Then Qui-Gon wouldn't have learned how to transfer his essence. Wie geht's, mein Freund? What up, Thunder Khajiit? Best place to get Jedi robes, outfit for cosplay. Party City sucks for fat guys. Any suggestion on lightsabers as well, please? Amir. Um, if you're a big guy, I, I, I would say... Honestly, dude, I would make one. I made one when I was 15 years old. And uh, it's really quite simple. It's really, really simple. I just sewed it together with my hands. Like... Um, all I did was I took a big, I bought a big piece of um, fabric, any color you want, whatever you want your robe to be, and I did like an outline of myself. I like laid on it. I did a little outline of myself in like a, a, a white pen or something, and a felt pen, and um, you cut along it, and then you cut out the sleeves, and you make the sleeves, and you 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 make it double the length and you fold them. I'm not going to tell you how to sew, but you fold them and you just uh, sew it all together. And then you sew that to the shoulder and dude, you got a pretty cool robe. Um, Galaxy's Edge has pretty good robes, man. They're stupid expensive, but they're really good quality. As well as lightsabers. I just ordered my first lightsaber on Vader's vault, and it won't be here for like another six months, but um, once it's here, you can expect a review. It's it's pretty decked out, so um, I'm excited to, to do an unboxing of it. Do you think they should make a What If series like Marvel? Bro, I'm doing the What If series here. You got that on the channel. Iconic reactions. I feel like Obi-Wan is more powerful than Yoda. But he really held back because he could be more prone to the dark side than we may think. Thoughts? Nah, dude. There's no way Obi-Wan was more powerful than Yoda. He was like one of the least gifted students at the temple. He just practiced really hard. <laughs> There's like parts in the in the book with Master and Apprentice where Qui-Gon's like, just thinks he's kind of useless. He's like, God, what the hell is wrong with this kid? He's like, I was so much more powerful than him when I was his age. Vader's Vault is the best way to go. Yeah, man. They make good quality stuff from what I've seen. I've never actually had one, but um, that's what we used on the set of um, Vader Episode 1. Luke at the ending of The Last Jedi is Luke we all knew. Yeah. Is Luke... Wait. Luke at the ending of The Last Jedi is the Luke we all knew? No. Luke at the ending of Return of the Jedi, in my opinion. The damn dude. I love you, Star Wars Theory. Thank you, that damn dude. Oh, yo. Uh, sorry, I gotta go soon. I got, I got a, um, I got a stream on the gaming channel. I promise. 
everyone over there that was going to stream uh, Last of Us Part 2, which comes out in five minutes, I think, right? Something like that. So if you guys want to join me on there, you can do that. But uh, I thoroughly enjoyed our watch party. This is definitely my favorite Star Wars movie. And um, next week, we're going to do A New Hope. Then we're going to skip Empire Strikes Back because we already did that one. And then we're going to do Return of the Jedi, which is, I would say, my second favorite Star Wars movie. Um, and then we can figure out where we'll go from there. So I like these watch parties. I want to keep them going. But um, honestly, on the gaming channel, it's like every day is like a watch party. As we play a game. Iconic Reactions can tell you all about it. He's, he's on there. He's from the game channel. Also, side note, but I was always find Yoda's first fight in Attack of the Clones was dope. Him reflecting back lightning with his hand is just orgasmic. Dude, that was the sickest fight. I remember seeing that in theaters, and I was just like... I think I was uh, 13. I was 12. You're a legend. No, well, you're a legend, man. Last of Us already came out. Oh, did it? Okay, well, I guess I'm like an hour late or something. What character didn't get enough attention in the prequels? By the way, love this channel. Keep up the great content. I think Qui-Gon didn't get enough attention. Or... Yadel. <laughs> Yadel, man. Yeah. Alright, love you guys. Thank you so much for the watch party. That concludes episode 3. That concludes the prequels. Uh, and then next week we'll do episode 4, The Star Wars. Or now known as Star Wars Episode 4, New Hope. Love you all. Catch you on the gaming channel. Catch you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for being part of this. I had an awesome time. And um, I'll see you very soon. May the force be with you. Later, everyone.